So if you're living on 100 bricks and you want to put an extension, you're not going to do it because you're not. 15%, yeah. What do you want to do? That was it, that was it. Right, well, so that's exactly what it's going to get. Right, you have to decide what it is that you want to achieve. What I'd like to do is the competition, not this year, no way. Right. The NBA, the right. so following year, 18 months from now. Right. So in that case then, between now and then, you've got to get bigger. Yeah, definitely. Right, so you ain't going to get bigger if you're staying about 10%, 8%. Right. You've got to scavenge and metabolise on itself all the time. Right. It needs energy, it needs excess energy to grow. Right. If you're just ticking over, you can train until you're fucking all in mass, heels up. But it isn't going to get any bigger because you haven't got any extra to give it. So last year, that's been the case. Right. You need to make sure that... separation detail coming through. Uh, Roger, I've worked with Roger for about 20 years, on and off, uh, and I've trumped his opinion, he's got a good eye, and 
he's always good for a bit of input and feedback. Um, uh, it's just for me, it's crucial that you know my posing. Is, I think is one of the aspects that's uh, essential nowadays to a modern bodybuilder. You look at a lot of the the pros and things like this nowadays, and some of them I think are just going through the motions. Um, and I think once you're on stage then you deserve, or the audience deserve you to be the best you can be, so yeah, it's like getting there in condition, but if you're posing like a stump, then I don't really see that, you know, they, they, they're the ones that put you up there, they're the ones that pay the bills and the money, so you need to give them some some, some service back, um, so I like to practice my posing, and I think I'm fairly good, other people think I'm fairly good, you might think I'm a lot of rubbish, but at least I'll have put a bit of effort into it, I won't just turn up and just go, hey, this is what you get. Uh, when I have done guest poses in the past, I've been nearly condition ready, you know, show condition ready. I won't get on stage unless I think I'm 110 percent, and uh, I think that's what people pay for, and that's what they expect. Um, so for me, it's crucial that you go through your posing and you at least get your mandatories right. You know, your quad turns, you know, your compulsory poses, um, and make sure you're giving the best to the audience that you can give. Also, I think if you know what you're doing and you're on stage doing it well. It makes you feel better, you smile, you're happy with it. It's like anything, if you're doing something good that you know you can do well, then it's better. Um, and that's my rant over. <laughs>